You're here because coil near plug systems have an ignition coil pack for each spark plug. The spark plug is connected by a short plug wire. When doing a secondary ignition analysis on these systems, you cannot use the DIS setup for your scope. See the instructions for your individual equipment. Each coil pack has a four wire connector. Make sure that you use a vehicle specific wiring diagram. We're going to divide this one in half and look at only one bank of the coils. B plus and ground are shared by all coil packs. This is a splice for B plus and a splice for ground. Reference low circuits are shared by all four coil packs and has its own splice. If there's a common problem with several coil packs, suspect one of these splices. Splices are high fail rates when you're working on any wiring problems. Ignition control circuits go to each individual coil pack. These are the test connections. Connect the low current probe to the B plus and the voltage probe to the ignition control. The negative lead of the scope went to the engine ground. This is the patterns you're going to get on your scope. Ignition coil primary current turn on is what turns the coils on, that starts the coil current buildup. You can see on the bottom waveform when the PCM wants to turn the coil on, it goes high. And then ignition coil primary turn off, the PCM signal goes low, and then the coil fires. The ignition control signal should be four and a quarter volts. That's 4.25 volts. It should also have a good ground when the signal is low. If the coil control signal isn't present, go to PCM testing. There have been reports from the field that when the voltage is four volts or lower, the coil pack is pulling the signal low, causing the misfire. Repla replace the coil to fix the problem. Peak amps should be about 5 amps. Low amps can be caused by low B plus or bad ground. And high primary resistance is also a cause. If peak amps are lower than normal, test the coil packs B plus. It should be within a half a volt of system voltage B plus. Next, test the coil packs ground. Should be less than a half a volt. If B plus and grounds are normal with low primary current, check the coil's primary resistance. You do that by measuring between the ignition and the ground terminals. Compare the resistance of the bad coil to all the good coils to get your specification. 